Hello, in this video series we show you how to turn these 22 tons of oak trees into this here, firewood. So let's explain what I'm going to use the old uh, tire for. Here, old tire, got it for free. And also what I did is I cut off uh, a slim piece from around here. It actually broke into two pieces, so that's about, I would say, between one and two inches thick. And I put this on the bottom, what for? So that the, the bottom is kind of hardish, otherwise it would be soil, would be a little bit softer. So I put this on the bottom of the old tire. And now, if I have some uh, splitting to do, uh, let's look at these two. I would just put them inside. As you can see this round just uh, nicely fits here and now I'm going to use uh, the mole and with it I do the splitting. So basically the advantage is I have no splitting block. I do not use one. Uh, this is on the ground. The round itself is about uh, a foot and a half uh, high and uh, also here it's not quite flat so actually as a matter of fact since I'm a little bit below the level of the tire so that's even a little bit higher for me relatively speaking and uh, I feel safer using the tire just in case I would miss and I would strike here uh, it wouldn't hurt me wouldn't damage uh, either the axe or the mole so I just feel more confident using the tire, even for very big uh, rounds like this one. Also, uh, many people say the safest spot to strike is on the bot is on the behind part, on the part further away from you. I, for me, I feel more confident, and my technique is actually to strike in the front part. So, here I would look for I would uh, first search for cracks and always strike in the front park such like this here and usually it doesn't happen but if it should happen and I miss I would go down here I would neither hurt myself uh, or the tool and if I would uh, hit too far behind nothing would happen either so my technique is always to use a tire even for these uh, very big rounds and always try to strike here in the front the part that's uh, facing me, not on the far side, but on the shorter side, right here. That would be my striking point. The best tool for me is uh, the heavier uh, mole, and you can see the shape here. The head is three kilos. You can see the three zero there. So that's just the head itself is close to seven pounds. The total uh, weight of the tool is nine pounds. And look at the shape. It's a wedge, quite wide, and it's a lot better for splitting than uh, the axe for this kind of size. So I use the mole, the mole and uh, my target is going to be here and that's why I'm trying to hit it. And let's see how many strikes I will need. Anyway, with my kids sometimes we play a little game. We have to guess up front how many strikes we need. So let's start the game. I hit it on the right spot but not hard enough, nothing happened, no crack, nothing. A little bit too far in, still nothing. It's gonna be hard work to crack it. Another strike here, nothing. Another strike and still nothing happened. <laughs> that was a good hit where I wanted to hit it actually. Still nothing. I keep going here at the edge, see if I can get a crack. I was a little bit too far to the left, I wanted to hit it here again. Still nothing. Gotta get going.
now we got the first crack at last after I don't know how many I think 10 10 strikes already and I got the first crack so now it should be a little bit easier but anyway I will keep going here or I could change and keep uh, do a strike here but anyway I'll do another couple of strikes here and hopefully that will make a full crack that sounded good sound of a crack let's keep going Crack is getting bigger. Ah. Now we're getting it. Ah. Ah. Too far in the middle. I should hit more in the corner. I will turn it around. And I will hit it here now, on the crack. Now, now we got it. Now that we got the first crack, I will turn it a little bit and I will hit it here now. Trying like on a pie, ch chopping off another slice here, so my target would be right here and try to take off uh, a slice of the pie. Okay, this one wasn't the first one, no, not bad. Again, same thing here. I'm gonna move over a little bit. I'm gonna take on another slice. My target would be right here. Uh, too far over, so instead of cutting a slice here, I made a big crack here. Well, also helps me. Again, I move over here. I'm gonna try here, hit it here, cut off that. Okay, next move right here. Try here. Okay, so now I can move over here, do another slice here, like so. Okay, next one, basically I, another slice here, I gotta turn it. I move it so that I have better access to it. And another one here. So now, I will do another one here in the middle now. Okay. It bounced back. Didn't hit it quite right. So I'll do another one on this side now. This is still too big anyway. Got to move the, the round for better access, at least a little bit. Okay, that took off another slice here. Still too big, I'm gonna try another one right here in the middle. Okay, took another one piece off, another one in the middle. So this one here. Anyway, I keep going until I got it down into really small pieces. About some 10-15 strikes later, I got it like that. Small little pieces that I like. Uh, and you can see it's actually quite wedged in because of the size of the tire. It was roughly the size of the round. So I'm gonna take it out piece by piece and I'm gonna pile it up right there. As I take the cut logs out, I basically separate them into three once the ones are nice uh, evenly shaped that go up into our, my stack into the tower the really small ones go into my box for kindle kindling kindling wood and the irregular shaped ones I put aside 
and they go separate place. So now piece by piece I take them out and I separate them into the three areas. So that's a very really tiny one, might go to kindling wood. So for very big rounds I do the following. This round is way too big, it will not fit inside. Uh, the round is bigger than the tire and hence what I do is I put the tire in front of it. I first of course look at the round and see if there are any cracks visible and then I visualize where I'm going to strike it. As uh, I mentioned before, I always strike. It's big so I'm definitely going to use them all. I'm not going to use my axe. I have to move it away. Um, I always strike here in the front. I do not strike not in the middle and not in the end part. Always in the front. Always uh, radial towards the center at the beginning. So I would look for a crack here and for example I would identify this crack here. There's a crack right there and that would be my target. So my target would be to actually hit right here. That would be my target. Okay. So what I'm doing, I put the tire in front, I position myself such that the tire is really centered in front and remember here is what the target is right there on the big round. And now what does the tire do? The same thing. Mentally it helps me to hit with the full power and the full speed. I don't have to be afraid. If I hit short, I would hit here on the tire. Nothing would happen. Absolute worst case, if I even hit even shorter than that, nothing again. Same thing here. The handle will hit here on the tire and will be kind of uh, softish. If I hit further down, I would hit more in the middle and uh, it would be a miss, but still nothing would happen. So my strategy is always the same. I use the tire this way. I don't have to be afraid of uh, hitting short in the sense that I mentally can uh, do the full speed swing without hesitation. And, uh, and I feel this is uh, an advantage for me. So that's what I always do. Put the tire in front, search for the crack, hit up here in the front and try to cut off a slice of the pie, so to speak, here. Basically, first hit right there. Then turn around. Once I have done the first one, I would move the tire maybe a little bit, a few inches over, and then the next one. Look for another crack and go for the next one. And slice by slice, uh, split the bigger rounds. Anyway, sometimes these are old oak trees, and they say that uh, old oak is harder than green oak. And on a big round like this, which is uh, more than, mm, I would say, about two and a half uh, feet wide, it will take me several strokes. <laughs> so it's not going to be that straightforward. <sighs> Made a crack already, so that was a good sound. I think maybe in a second swing we'll can knock a piece off. Okay, we got two pieces. Uh, try to hit here again, slice off a piece if I can. to move out of the way, yeah, the danger spot. It's old uh, oak, so to say, old oak ah, is the toughest to, to split. Anyway, you got one piece uh, here. Now we gotta keep going and keep going until we turn all of this into small chunks. Uh, 
okay big crack so I'm not sure if you can see it next swing I hope it goes through step aside ah. okay there was a, a branch inside or something anyway it's tough wood and next one here anyway I don't have to show it all we just keep uh, piece by piece next target would be here then afterwards here and so on cutting off uh, slices of a pie until I'm all done for smaller rounds I also use the tire and I use it like this remember on the bottom I've placed a big round about uh, one to two inches high just to be sure that the base is uh, not soft so it's a very hard base there's the big round bottom and on top I just fill it up with the small rounds the same thing here if you can see I put the smaller ones on the outside and the tallest one in the middle and I try to fill it up so there's a little uh, room for movement so it's quite full again remember the lower pieces on the outside and uh, the tall pieces in the middle also when I put in these logs the small rounds I make sure that if there is a branch or something uh, it's always on the bottom so it's easier to split and now on this size I could use my axe that's perfect size for the uh, X27 splitting axe but often I'm too lazy since I have this tool handy here I don't care I might as well use uh, the heavier mold so here I can choose either one if I'm tired I use the lighter axe if not if I'm too lazy for switching the tool I just continue going with the mole. And this size I could use my splitting axe. Just want to show you the difference here. The splitting axe is uh, not a, it's narrower. It's sharper also. The mole is not sharp at all. It's wider and heavier. So this is in total weight uh, about nine pounds. This has a total weight of uh, close to seven pounds. Both of them have a fiber handle. Uh, both of them are qu quite long, 92 centimeter handle, so that's about three feet long handle. That basically helps me of getting speed. On the swing, the most important thing is the speed. Speed and accuracy, where you hit. So if you can balance those two and you can master those two, speed and uh, location, where to hit, then you will be a perfect uh, wood splitter. Uh, well, I'm practicing and I will get better and better anyway. So, this said, some people prefer the wooden handle, they say it's better, but anyway, I'm quite satisfied with these two. And on the mold, I'll show you a little feature here, which I also think is quite handy. Up here, this is uh, a protective uh, bracelet, it's kind of rubberish and soft. So, when I hit uh, anything, let's say at Kaihui and hit here, it reduces the impact. On your hand so actually there's less strain on your hand because of this protective uh, bracelet here which is made out of rubber and remember on the bottom of the tire I got uh, a two inch one and a half inch uh, round just to make these the bottom very sturdy and solid and always put the smaller rounds on the outside and uh, let's go let's start so these are And it's very convenient as you can see the wood isn't going anywhere it stays put and I can get going and get going until I have everything narrowed down to the desired size Oops. also you can see here it helps me the tie helps me to reduce the impact see here so the tire has several functions, reduces the impact, the wood stays put, doesn't go anywhere and you keep, keep going and going. Actually there's a, a branch here so this is tough. Anyway, when you put in the logs make sure all the branches on the bottom. This one has branches on the bottom and the top so here's a branch so this is why this one is kind of hard. Oof, harder than I thought.
Get out of my way a little bit. Anyway, they're small, but I make them a little bit smaller, even. Need a better angle for this one here. I'll just turn it around a little bit in here. Piece fell off. Anyway, pieces are coming off, but still, I want it a little bit smaller, so I keep going. Anyway, you get the idea and the benefit of the using a tire. I think it's really a great idea. Whoever came up with this should get uh, no, an order or something or an award. <laughs> And this one is the one that has so many branches in it, so it's actually a tough fish. But anyway, you can see, you can get it into pieces. Step by step, with a little bit of patience. Going for the small one now here. Oh, look at that. Still not falling apart. Maybe I turn it around and I give you some shots from the other side. And another one. I think that's enough. You get the idea. These are the rounds that we just cut uh, with the chainsaw on our prepared construction here. So now, these rounds are the same thing. If I just have a single round, small round, I still use my tire. I always like my tire, no matter what. And this time I'm going to use my axe. It's a rather small round. So let's give it a shot with the axe. So it splits very nicely, as you can see. And again, same thing. The tire helps me. Psychologically, I know if I hit somewhere where I shouldn't hit, it will be softened 
and uh, it doesn't fall over, doesn't fly away, so easy enough. So even for little pieces, I just use my uh, my tire, tire for everything. So off we go, next round. This one is maybe a little bit too big, another up here. So off goes and next round in. This one, let's see, big one, this one here. Up. So, all right. And off we go. Okay, another split right there. Okay, these two are done. Another split right here. Okay, still too big, and I don't want to go. This one is good size, alright. This one with another one. Okay, these two are good. One more to go. Sand. Up. Sliced it. And a little bit smaller still. Alright. And next round.